back in high school, Shelby was was lit like all the time. She attracted, I guess, like certain types of men. In high school, like I was really naive. Like I, I didn't talk to boys. Like it was just like, I don't know what's going on. So then Shelby one day, like to me was like, Lauren, like there's a guy who, and he's like into me. To me, it was like, whoa, like someone's into Shelby. Like this is a big deal. Like no one's into us. Like we were nerds. We were in our freshman year of high school. I was kind of a train wreck, like honestly. Not really, but like. Yeah, you know, foundation, <coughs> like how you're supposed to put foundation on your face. Mm -hmm. Like I would put just, use it like concealer, like put it over like my zits. <laughs> so that was like my level of like looks at this point, just to give you some background. So you know if it's someone who's into me, it's gonna be someone really weird. We'll just, we could call him like- Martin. We ended up being partners for something. He was a junior, I was a freshman. We were studying like Latin cultures and he said, oh, what, like, what's kumbaya? And I was like, oh, you know, like, kumbaya. And he thought that was the fucking funniest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> And like the whole class like went silent kind of turned once when you say something that you know isn't that funny and someone laughs like that's a little like red yeah. flaggy. Yeah. I had my own book. Martin had his own book. We were doing vocab for this class and then Martin brought his book back to the front of the class to put away <laughs> to share with me and the teacher was like Martin what are you doing why are you putting back your book and Martin was like huh, I'm gonna share with Shelby and then the teacher was like you know Martin in front of the class sometimes <coughs> It's not the sharing, but who you're sharing with that makes the moment really special. Hearing this like naive, like naive goggles, like I was like, cool, like there's a guy and like he wants to like share like with Shelby. Before we had to watch a video for class, they would have to turn the lights off. Okay class, like I don't want to see like any talking or holding hands. And this Martin guy was like, ha ha, we're holding hands, look at this! And like was like drew attention and it was like, oh no, like this isn't good. On the first day of class, the teacher was trying to get us to guess what a certain word that he said in Spanish like what word am I saying and people were getting into it and like raising their hands and Martin raises his hand and goes oh shit and then like the <laughs> anyway what the fuck is wrong with him he thought that he I don't even know how to explain this he claimed to be the rightful owner of the black pearl from oh, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. He like apparently like his uncle like owned it or, or worked on it. <laughs> he would draw pictures of pirate ships basically every Photoshop class. Himself in. We were supposed to draw a picture of a like a Pueblo or something for mm -hmm. class and he drew an actual like detailed blueprint with like the multiple pages and everything <laughs> of the mansion with a water tower that his <laughs> uncle was going to build him because he was apparently rich and his uncle was going to build him this mansion. I don't know. Sorry, and gave him the black pearls. <laughs> but I had never like seen him. And then like in your mind though, you like build it up and it's like just cause she thinks he's, and he's probably hot and like she doesn't get it. So like at lunch, Lunch just happened, the bell just rang. It's like, we're like, we're gonna, like, we're getting ready to walk to class. So I'm like walking alongside Shelby and suddenly like out of nowhere, like, like somebody, wa somebody like really scary, like, like really like, ah, walks up to Shelby and like ferociously, like it was like, ah, like angry status, like goes like, yeah, like we're still on for Magic Mountain, right? And like, and, I like, never turned. said I was going to Magic Mountain with him. He would keep asking me to go for their employee day and I kept saying no. <laughs> Little Lauren like shocked. I was like, Shelby, like who was that? Like what was that? And she's like, that's the guy, like that's him. And, and then like immediately was like, oh, like it's bad, like it's bad. It got to a point where one day it was like prom, I guess was coming up. And I remember I was wearing a too small pink panther shirt. Like it was a shirt with a bunch of like imprints of the pink panther's head on it. I hadn't washed my hair in three days. Pink panther, acne, grease hair, like sitting hunched over at a desk. <laughs> so hot and there were some empty desks next to me and like around me and Martin was over like a couple rows over this other guy just turns to him and is like hey Martin like that girl in our last class seemed like she was flirting with you are you gonna ask her to prom and Martin goes no 
I'm gonna ask that girl over there. I pretended that I somehow didn't see that and like looked down and class starts. Like he kept trying to get my attention as class is happening. Finally, like I saw them like writing and giggling over a piece of paper. I saw him like folding the piece of paper and I was like, no. And I see him like with a paper airplane. He throws it and I'm like, it'll veer away. Like they always veer away and it didn't. Yeah. It was like, like, the teacher sees all of this by the way as he's talking I, like open it and it's like will you go to prom with me and I look at them and they're like I can't really verbally say anything so I was like sorry <laughs> like no <laughs> like and he was like why and I was like oh. and everything you said is like so scarring I like forgot how bad it was and this one time, this infamous dance, this can be the climax of the story. Homecoming, and it was sophomore year of high school. I wore this really weird outfit that my mom bought me. It was like a weird like silk shirt and then black like jeans. I was into that. <laughs> you were wearing like a weird like motherly dress or something. <laughs> I think I might have been. <laughs> and then our friend Elise, we had another friend which is whatevs. And then there was this guy that was like following around our like, our fourth friend. She was like cute, but she was like also really kind of like shy around like newer people. We, we've never talked to him and he's like following around our group and it's like clearly for her and like she didn't pick up on it the whole time. So this dance, the school decided that it would be fun to have like little go-go stages where it was like a little like circular platform that like people could get up and like dance on. And so we're like, oh, like we should get on the platform. So like all like the weird like mishmash group of us like gets on the platform and already like we were a sight to see. So we were like, ah, sexy. We're on a platform. <laughs> so like other people, like cool people were like looking at us and like pointing. People that I was on like color guard team with were like making fun of me. Fuck like, you guys. <laughs> in their defense, like I probably would have been looking too. Why did uh, they go on a platform? <laughs> Like, what the fuck were you thinking? As this is happening, as I saw her on the dance floor, <laughs> Martin was at the dance with this yeah. new girl he was dating. He would always be the person who, like, took off their shirt and, like, put a vest oh, over it. Oh, like, hurt. I'm, you know, like, dancing on the platform, like, fun. And then suddenly, like, in an instant, everyone drops off the platform except for me. Like, and, like, Martin gets on and is like, oh, I'm coming in and starts, like, <laughs> dancing at me. What are we gonna do? Like, he came on to dance with Shelby while he has a girlfriend. How did he fizzle out? Like, I think he just... He would just keep showing up to the dances and yeah. stuff. Still hasn't gotten his mansion or his water tower, but, you know, we'll only tell. Yeah.